Fixing the Excel Air Portable Air Conditioner. This is the Excel Air EPA 101A. I found this dumped on the street and since I fixed its bigger brother I thought I might have a chance fixing this one. We plug it in and we get this red LED flashing. The symbol looks like a tipping water bucket and looking in the manual of the bigger unit we have we can see a tipping bucket near number 9 and number 9 is the water full indicator. A quick check of the drain and we don't even have a cap that seals the tank. My guess is there's something wrong with the sensor or there's something wrong in the control board where it's telling the micro that the sensor is activated. The back cover is held with six screws on the back, four underneath and one on each side and the two handle screws don't hold it. The first thing I check is the micro switch and it's not in the down position, it's just always on. And that's when I noticed the float was crooked, it's like there's something underneath it. I spudged the switch because the wires were too hard to unplug. The bracket hangs over the float so you've got to pull that out as well. I yanked the float and sure enough there's some like rubber plug under there. I don't know if it fell down from above or what. We put it back together and now we have clickage. Gee that was boring. But a 10 cent part made someone throw away a $400 air conditioner. I then found oil on this grill and underneath. And if that's compressor motor oil this thing is dead. I looked inside but there's no oil in the water reservoir which is right where the motor is. So I guess it's not coming from the motor. And checking all the way around I don't see any oil. So I guess that got spilt from the outside. We plug it in and try it and it starts up. We switch the aircon and full fan and drop the set temp. You can't hear it but I can hear the motor kick on and it's this little green LED showing you that it's on. This took a while to get cold but it did eventually get cold air coming out of it. I noticed with our bigger unit the older it got the longer it took to get cold so that's probably normal. Next we come to the drain cap and plug and this is what the original looks like. Of course you'll never get these parts so you have to make them. I measured 19mm OD and 2.5mm pitch and since this has got to be metric the closest is M20 by 2.5 coarse thread. So it's draw it up. If you need the model just look up my Tinkercad. Then it's just 3D printed and find an O-ring. I'll have to see later if this thing leaks and needs a better gasket. If you're wondering about the performance of these portable air conditioners, they're more like a fan that's blowing refrigerated air rather than a real air conditioner that can lower the temperature of a room. And the weaker they are, the more you have to use them as a personal blower that blows directly on yourself. As Technology Connection stated, when it's pumping air out of the room, it has to be replaced by hot air from the outside. So it's never going to be great. Links to the bigger XL Air manual and the STL file for the drain plug will be below.